Hi guys, welcome to part one of the Dauntless build 132 Midway Clear Edition. I don't know so much about the clear, but let's just see what happens. I'm on a bit of a theme this year to begin with, um, New Year. Um, I'm going to start this one in a minute, but before I do, I just want to show what's coming up. Really. After I build this one, I'm going to attempt to build this. This is the 1350 scale aircraft carrier CV8 Hornet. Um, hopefully, I can video build that. I haven't had much luck with ships in video building. Uh, the Mogami's still over there in the corner, and that's been a nightmare with the PE. And uh, not quite sure on how to video a ship build. Um, because there's always a lot of little parts, always a bit repetitive and a lot of some of it. But I'm going to try and video build that one. Um, so go along with the theme. It's the uh, Do Little Raiders. I read the book and uh, also got that one to build as well. So keeping with the Midway theme really, isn't it? It gives, uh, gives you a bit of interest really when you read a book. And... Uh, Gives me a bit more enthusiasm to build the models, really. So there. So we'll get on and uh, see if we can uh, start this one. So, I've had a look at it a bit. Hopefully today I can get this part done, maybe up to three. I've done a little bit already. Um, like the the cockpit here, I put together because I had to glue it sort of thing and wait for the glue to dry so I've, I've built that bit there so let's move on let's see if we can get this going it's a long time since I've done a video build in all fairness so a bit of uh, free nerves again would you call it getting used to it again and um, gotta thank Nigel he sent me through some PDF files on the Hornet thank you Nigel great help that was it looks interesting I've read a bit and uh, yeah, a lot of detail there. So thank you, Nigel. That's Nigel's modelling bench. And he's apparently doing the Sean horse at the moment, the 1200 with uh, Jason over at Model Kit Stuff, which uh, they literally um, rip them holes to pieces and put them back together to what they should be sort of thing. Uh, way beyond my uh, skills, that is. So um, don't expect the Hornet to be ripped to pieces that's totally beyond me in all fairness but they're quite interesting to watch that's over at model kit stuff and uh, obviously Nigel's modeling bench so let's start so on H29 so this is all going to be whatever because I haven't done this for a long time that's S so first off we've got to find H29 haven't we there's the H sprue H that's weird. The same one there. Oh well, that might come to light later on, might it? So I don't have my videos all set up right here in focus and whatever. I think it's been a good couple of months since I finished up Border 135. Okay, and it takes some getting back into, uh, into videoing again. So, here's that bit, like that. Now, option, late, early. Well, I'm going to do the late model, I think, looking at it. So I want C10 now. So, C10, let's just do the air. Some of these things are already, I was experimenting there last night on uh, how to weather. I'm trying to improve my weathering skills a bit. A um, few ideas I've seen which I like to have a go at. So then, if I'm doing the late one, this one here goes and then like that. What is it today? 30th of uh, December, so it's nearly the new year. And it's blowing a gale again and raining. Which 
which we seem to have had a lot of the last couple of months. So there's that bit. So I'll get me trusty old penne. Around there. Ah, S1. That says S1 there. Ah, hang on a minute. Perhaps that has. Right, we started already, haven't we? S1, I should be using that one for some reason. That's for the early version. So, that's a good start, isn't it? Back to normal, isn't it? Glad to see I haven't changed. So, get me um. Take it, you're in view there. So, now I'm doing the late version. That one there will go over there. I can't see the actual difference in the two parts, really, but I keep it in my head in the camera. I never used to do that. So, what are we doing here? So that's that one done. And that's that done. So, part two. On C23. Right, let's do C. Let's do 23 first. 23. C22, so this guy, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, it's absolutely darts a bag here. I didn't like flipping modes lately. Let's turn it up these bits in a minute. Oh, I should have to order something in a minute because I keep playing with me head in me uh, thing. Have a knife here a minute. Yeah, it takes some getting used to getting back into a video in a game. Um, just do it, isn't it? People that don't video, it's a different sort of modeling, in all fairness. Because you're aware that you're being watched, I suppose, or something. I don't know what it is. And uh, for that's the wrong place, isn't it? For me, the nerves kick in a bit until I get back into it. And that goes there and there. That's not a very good fit, is it? I think there's a. Let's have a look here a minute. Oh, did it go? goes in there like that, doesn't it? That's how it goes. In through there. Come on, glue. That's that bit there, isn't it? So now I want C24. What is this guy? Twenty-two, which is where's it? Upside down again. <laughs> Nothing outwards, does it? Come on, twenty-five. Where's twenty-two? Ah, oh, there it is. Hope oh, everyone had a good Christmas and a happy New Year. It's the thirtieth of December today. Nearly in the new year, so I wish all my subscribers a happy new year. 
I'd like to thank the guys that bought me the coffees and that. Very much appreciated. It's great help. Thank you, guys. Little slides in there, no? Come on. Right, so. Now I need C20. Uh, 16 C20 is this, uh, this little guy here. some of this out as well I think put a bit there so this little guy sits on there like so so that's then two bits done isn't it <coughs> excuse me I'm getting better I'm over I had the OC word over Christmas and this is about the second day I've been feeling myself in all fairness. He gotta be painted, so let's get this one out. Which is this guy, C thirteen. As you can see, I've done a little bit of weathering on. It's just something new I'm trying. Um, so, this will be probably all painted again after I've put everything on there. Because most of it is the Zinc Chromate 1. Which I gather is quite green, really. So, yeah. So it's basically it was sprayed black, then I sprayed it silver, and then what I used was Masco in a sponge to try and get the effect of warmness, and then I sprayed it the green, and then just rubbed off the Masco, and it come out like that. First time I ever tried doing it, I can see how it works. So perhaps I'll give it another go when I've done it. So anyway, let's get on. Otherwise, I'm not going to get what I want doing down the mine. So there's them. Like that. This one here. Okay, how did this fit then? Ah, right, I see. Okay. They really want me to fit that. Like so, there's a hole that goes in there. So really that foot pedal shouldn't have been glued really. Let's we'll see what we can do here. That one there goes on the end, like so. That goes there like that. Come here. Ah, oh dear. Let's try and move that. Oh, that's better. Something just fell off that side bit. That's all right. I can re-glue that in a minute these bits. I've got my other glasses on I think. I can't flip and see. They go like that. Like that there. Wants to go in there like so. 
So I need to do that like that and hold it at the same time. God, that's for doing it. So, uh, don't lose that little bit. And that goes in there. Ah, uh, God, touch it, it flies off. Go in there. Right, so, that's in that hole there. And that's sitting on the end there. So if this glue should eat through the paint bit there, really. Like that. I must have get that bit. And this bit. The same with this bit, isn't it? No, that goes, this needs moving up a bit, or have I, nothing has to move up really. That's the same with that, like so, but then we've got this bit here sticking out. Hmm. We get there in the end, don't we? Like I said, I'm doing my new subscribers are not teaching anyone to do anything. It's just me at the bench. It's the way I do it. <laughs> Half the time it's hard. I make hard work of it, but okay, come on. As you can see. Something so simple, and I can make hard work of it. I'm not trying to teach anyone to do anything. Just me at the bench. If you want to learn stuff, go over and watch Nigel. If you like that, kids. He's one hell of a modeler. I watch his videos, I try and learn from Nigel. Don't think I'll ever be so good as Nigel, but. Yeah, so that's them on there. We get there in the end, which is the main thing. Now I want C21. Rim much that beats me. That's why I make, like making the rebel kits because some of them are a bit awkward to put together. And that's the bit I enjoy. More awkward the kit or the harder the fit, the more I seem to enjoy it. In all fairness, it becomes a challenge, doesn't it? And then that goes there. No, do that. Go down to there. Matter of fact, I think they actually got that bit in there. Like so. Looking right. 
straight in it. I need a pair of tweezers, really. Let me go in a bit more like that. And there's that button. C17. C17. This is all on the same sprue. You're not jumping from sprue to sprue at the moment. Some photo etch coming for the hornet. Not a lot, just a little bit. I don't want to do too much photo etch. A little bit just sets it off a bit, I think. Railings and that. And there's that one. So, where are we now? What's these things here then? C5. Hmm, C5. What's these guys? Well, I must thank everyone that commented on the last video and that. Um, thank you guys, much appreciated. On the uh, well wishing, because I've had this flipping old virus thing. And been able to. Well, I haven't had no mojo whatsoever. Just not me mojo for six. I did. Didn't even want to look at YouTube videos. I'm glad that's the other side now. So this here. So I think that bit there got to come out. And then they show me it wants to go that way. Got these bits there, seem to go through. Like so. Like that. Uh, I'm not going to glue that for a minute. I'm not quite sure on that, but that looks like what they want. <coughs> Excuse me. C27. Which is this guy. Bang the head against the flipping camera again. I tripped over that for another day. video no that needs to go in there C12. Well, 
Yeah, I'm really open to build that Hornet 1 to a video builder that I hope it's, it's like I said, I haven't had much luck with building ships on video. Don't know why. I do like my ship building. So this this one here right. Just trying to see how this goes. Like that, I'm not sure where right, this goes. You got the thing there on the outside there. You've definitely got that one. Well, there's no, no, it goes that way, I think. Let's just hop across the page a minute. Can I see this here anywhere? Where are we? We're up here. There they're showing the two. It goes that way. So perhaps we will put it that way. Like that. Definitely. Um, Definitely showing it there. So if that's like that. Right? They're definitely showing it a bit like that. So that's the way we'll put them. Some glue. Chuck it in there. Let's put glue everywhere by the looks of it. That looks as if it's supposed to go in there. Come on. Like so. That get the other one in a minute. a bit weird because that one there hmm, I got a crossbar down there whereas this one doesn't I'm not showing the crossbar in the front here that's what I'm trying to uh, work out And then, no, it's at the back, in it? Then it should be on the other side. So, have I got them right or wrong here? Because according to this, they go the other way. I do it right, Ennis. I could come back and bite me in the backside. Oh, 
Okay, so that's them done. So now I need C3. C3. C3, which is the fire extinguisher, it looks like. Right. And they were set. in there I'm not going to glue them in because they've got to be painted red and C4 so I won't glue them in so you'll need tidying up and painted red and you'll need cleaning up as well here so for now I'll just put them in for now and we get some idea what we're doing here. Like so. So that's C4. C3 done. So there we have completed that page pretty well because I've. Well, I suppose I could just flip and do this and this will be done then, won't it? So I want C8. And I can get in. Call it a day for the day. Because I don't like my videos going on too long. I don't want to bore you guys. So I'm grateful that you uh, watch. So that there. together like so it does I'm waiting for the glue to dry so once the glue dries it'll be able to show the dials it's a bit of film that sits in the back there's that L7 which I dug out and painted yesterday so I can painting up a bit and I've also come up a bit it's like a little table this is it's up there it goes in there like so I'm not going to stick it in for a minute. I'll do that off screen because I want to paint it up a bit. That goes like that. This one will stick in like that. Somehow. Thought I always would do. There. So that'll be part of the cockpit. Not exciting, really. Um, I suppose once it's in there, you won't see a lot of it. So there guys, that's it for part one, uh, part two, I mean, we'll carry on and do the rest of the cockpit, what can I do here, yeah, so there guys, there's the start of the Dauntless. So I'll catch you in part two, guys. Stay safe and uh, have a great new year. Bye.